Ethereum is at $950, approaching rapidly towards $1,000. The market caps are above $750 billion. I made a video on Kubera discussing about Ethereum hitting $5,000. Now, a lot of people laughed at that video at first. It came about when it was at $550 to $600. And now when it's going up towards 8,000, people are like, hmm, maybe this is making sense. But here's an update to that situation. Ethereum will hit $10,000. My name is Michael Ravi. Stay tuned. And this is my opinion. So hear me out or don't. But if you're against it, and this is my opinion. <laughs> Most likely cryptocurrencies will reach $1 trillion pretty shortly. Bitcoin is rising up again after some pullbacks. Some of the cryptos that I've invested in are doing phenomenally well. That is Tron, that is EOS, NEO, Steam, and the whole Steam it platform are doing very nicely. Now, Steam dollars did have some inflation. I talked about that over on Kubera, but with this channel, I've discussed that previously. So hopefully you guys invested in it. And I like Cardano, I like Litecoin, I like a lot of these coins, but Ethereum is the one that I've been a little bit more supportive of than Bitcoin previously. And that is due to the fact that 2017, the reason I got back into cryptocurrencies was XRP and ETH. And as right now, you can see Ripple is approaching $4, where when I got into it, it was at like 15 pennies or something like that. Now I have bought and sold and bought and sold. I am holding a little bit right now. I'm perfectly happy with it. I'm perfectly happy with Ethereum. I've currently got like five or six Ethereum. And the reason I have so little of it is because I spread it out into other cryptocurrencies that are most likely going to do better better than Ethereum. As in, when I say it's gonna take me from $500 to $5,000, I mean, those are impressive returns, but there's coins out there that are gonna do five times, 10 times, 25 times better than that. Or hopefully, that's what we're going into this for. So gone are the days with stock markets when you're wanting you know, 10, 20, 30% or <laughs> your, your CDs, your certificate of deposits giving you like anywhere from three to 4%. Ooh, wow. Or actually, no, wait, don't they give you like 0 0.0? I forgot what it was because I don't even use this stuff. I've never gotten one before. I've researched it for a couple months back when I was in high school, but I was like, that is silly. Why would anyone ever go into that? I played around with the stock market and now cryptocurrencies are just a completely different animal a lot of people keep saying it's a bubble it's a bubble if it is a bubble then all right but let's look at the dot-com bubble where that was going for a couple trillion dollars five trillion dollars this hasn't even hit one trillion dollars and it's climbing absolutely at these crazy rates so if it is a bubble okay it pops but then what's what is left behind it's the technology the internet is here doing better than ever before and it's exploding right now more money more users than ever before same thing with blockchain technology so let's say bitcoin ethereum all of these giants remain and then the scam icos the scam coins get removed when a bubble bursts and by these coins remaining, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, the ones that have just lasted through everything, they might remain there, but they might lose half of their value or you know, 60% of their value or something like that, or 70%, they'll still stick around. And maybe for a year or two, it's gonna be pretty bad, but in my personal opinion, if we wait long enough, I don't know how long it's gonna be, it will hit these numbers where it stabilizes. Or if it's not a bubble, then, I mean, it will hit a point of stability eventually, but there's still so many more countries, so many more people, so many more media outlets that are just finding out about Bitcoin, let alone Ethereum. And we look at Bitcoin where it's at, it hit nearly $20,000. A lot of people are predicting twenty five, fifty, dollars $100,000. Now with Ethereum, a lot of people are looking at it and they're like, well, it's better than Bitcoin because it's faster, it has lower fees, it has a better community, more updates to it, da -da 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 they keep listing off. I'm not gonna choose sides here. I think it's amazing to be on both sides. You know, I, it's not like I only support Ethereum and buy Bitcoin. I'm for both, I love them both, although I'm a little bit more biased towards Ethereum. And I'm admitting my bias, that's what it is to you guys out there. I'm going with tokens that are ERC-20s. They're based on Ethereum because those are usually better. And I always like investing in stuff that is known as the next Ethereum. So NEO, the Chinese Ethereum, Cardano, ADA, the Japanese Ethereum, EOS. A lot of people are comparing that to Ethereum. And by the way, 
invested a little bit into BitShares recently because that's another one of Dan Larimer's works. He did well with uh, Steemit. He did well with EOS. And I'm thinking, you know, BitShares is a little cheap. Let's see where it takes us. Tron, oh my goodness, 100 plus percent returns today. Wow, yesterday was like 40% returns on top of this 100%. It's just, it's going all over the place here. With Ethereum, this doesn't make sense, but it doesn't have to. And I'm not saying invest in it. I'm just saying look into it. If you like it, cool, go into the community. That's what it means. So if you like Ethereum, you don't necessarily have to buy Ethereum right now. Earn Ethereum. Earn Ethereum through your blog, through a social media page. Get a job, maybe a typer or... I don't know, a like translator or even taxi driver get paid in Ethereum. You choose Ethereum more times than Bitcoin because if this is what it is, if it's not a bubble, if it keeps going on and it keeps expanding and it is the technology of the future, then that means over the next couple of years, these prices are certainly going to happen where $5,000 doesn't seem crazy anymore. 10000 boom, it surpasses that. I'm not putting a timeline in when this $10,000 may happen. It may never happen. But in my personal opinion, I am more confident than ever before that Ethereum will hit $5,000 and it will hit $10,000. Now, I don't know if there's going to be a flipping with Bitcoin and Ethereum. I don't know if Ethereum will ever reach to the point that Bitcoin did. But there's one thing to look at. Ethereum's in a better position than Bitcoin is. Bitcoin was one of the first of its kind. And as a lot of people say, it's always nice to be kind of in the middle instead of being the first or the last. Because the first one has to go through all the problems. So... Bitcoin and Litecoin, they, they've been through their own set of problems. Ethereum, while well, it came out better than the others and it was prepared for the environment and with the roadmaps, with a lot of developments over the next couple of months, we're going to have some pretty awesome stuff, pretty cool updates for the media outlets to just report on. Everybody's going to be super hyped up for that. And it's like, well, as soon as that stuff happens, well, with Casper and all that, I mean, I, I don't know. I think I'm excited. I'm super excited. Also, I'm biased because I'm working with an ICO. I'm advising an ICO right now that will be an ERC-20 token. So we're launching within the next two to three months. And with that, hey, if Ethereum keeps rising, then every single ICO that's on the Ethereum blockchain will be making a lot more money. And if you're holding Ethereum, you're going to be making a lot of money. Personally, I prefer getting paid in Ethereum for sponsored videos than Bitcoin now. And it's just lower transaction fees for me. So it's like, it's easier. I like it and I'm excited for the future with it. There's no exact reasons, although some people have uh, looked at the logarithmic charts for $5,000 and linked to another article. They said it's possible. And with this, I don't know about $10,000. I haven't looked into it, but it's just the hype alone that over the next couple of months, even if it is a bubble, there might be time. But if it's not, well, if this is supposed to be the next technology of the future, there's so many more people who still want to find out about this, right? And it's just like, I don't know, we'll see. Right now, it's astonished a lot of people that Ethereum is where it is right now. Approaching $1,000, where previously, in 2017, you could have gotten it for, I don't know, $20, $30, $50, probably even $10, yeah. Couldn't you have bought it for like $7 at the beginning? Something like that, absolutely crazy. So, wow, there's plenty of new millionaires and billionaires coming. My name is Michael Kubera, or Avi, Avi, that's Avi. Check out my Kubera channel, but I posted this on this channel because I wanted to reach a larger audience today, and I don't know. If you want to support the movement, cool, but before you invest into something, make sure you do a lot of research into it, make sure it's money that it's yours, and if you really like the project, it's not just investing. You actually go full out. You try and get others involved in the community. You get paid in it. You, you advertise it. You go full out with other ERC-20 tokens and projects. And it's just like, you got to do whatever you got to do to make that money to get involved with it. Because if it is the next dollar, if fiat currency does fall, or I'm not one of those people thinking that doomsday is around the corner, I do think that it's just an interesting thing to look at and over the next couple of years, it's a revolutionary new item. Ethereum, in my opinion, has a lot more to go than Bitcoin because Bitcoin's older and Ethereum, like if Ethereum gets to become eight years old, which by the way, it was Bitcoin's birthday, January 3rd, today is 4th, happy birthday, Bitcoin. If it becomes eight years old, wow, that's, uh, no, wait. Bitcoin came about in 2009. It is 2018. Bitcoin's nine years old. My bad. Wow. Time really does fly by. It's the new year. Forgot about that. Anyways, if Ethereum does become nine years old, 
I see it being at a higher value than obviously, you know, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand dollars, and especially where it is right now. Where right now we've seen certain things go up by by fifty, by hundred, by two hundred percent in twenty four hours. You know, the market cap itself it fluctuates by 20, 30, 40 billion dollars. Sometimes within a couple of hours, those are entire states, entire countries just being shifted. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Please be aware of anybody who is selling it at really high prices. Also, think about that. If you do purchase Ethereum and it does fall, hold on to it. Hold on to it, but if you really hate it, then at least sell it for an extra 10 to 15%. Kind of like with Bitcoins, you got local Bitcoins and you sell on forums and Paxful and all that. There are people who want to convert their Ethereum into Bitcoin or into other altcoins or they want to purchase Ethereum directly. You're able to sell anywhere from 10 to 30% above. So that means if you buy it at $1,000 and it falls down to $900, but you're selling it at like 30%, of course, you're still going to profit. It doesn't matter. So... You know, and always if you're buying more, the fees will just be less. It's just going to be easier to work with. Stay safe, my friends. See you guys later. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, check out the links in the description below. Follow me on my other social media, and we shall see you guys back tomorrow.